Hi guys, my name is Autumn. Um, I'm from Automakers Mini Pet Pigs and I wanted to just take a um, quick second to introduce myself um, and kind of how I got into the pig business. Um, from a very young age, I was a pig lover. Uh, when most kids were decorating their rooms with movie stars and pop stars, I was decorating my room in pigs. Always loved pigs. Um, always said that I would never marry a man unless he let me have a pig. Um, met someone who was not an animal lover really and we got married and f took me a year to convince him that I really did want a little pot belly, pot belly pig. Um, so on our first year anniversary he surprised me with a newspaper which had an ad for a farm that was selling potbelly pigs. So we went, we checked them out, and let's just say they were not as many as I wanted them to be. Um, they were pretty much just a small farm pig. They were raised in a barn, raised in mud, and the babies were pretty big. I mean, we could barely hold them, they were so big, and they squealed like crazy because they hadn't been taken from their mother, and they were, um, I don't remember exactly how old they were, they were probably about between 10, 10 and 15 weeks old, so they still been with their mother, um, and they were not used to people. So unfortunately, we had to walk away from those ones, which I was really sad because I wanted one really bad, but... I waited uh, a couple weeks later and I went to a pet store with a friend and I saw the tiniest little potbelly pig. It was just the most precious thing. It was tiny, just a few weeks old. And so I called my husband and he let me get it. This pig was $100, okay? I didn't really know anything. There wasn't a whole lot on the internet or I didn't have much education on um, the fact that you shouldn't take a pig away from its mother too young, um, the fact that you shouldn't buy a pig that's only a hundred dollars, um, because uh, unfortunately his name was Oscar, he only lived for two years. Um, he died in his sleep, he was so unhealthy and I didn't even know it. He, his poor little organs were growing and they just outgrew his body, his body stopped growing. So. The breeder who had bred him and many others um, inbred him, and he was very sick because of it. I really did learn my lesson from that. I didn't want another pig for a really long time. Um, in the meantime, my husband and I started a family. We had two children. Um, we bought a house, and we were, again, we were living in the country. So um, when a family friend bought a pig, um, this little pig was $400 and it it got a little too much for them. They uh, Pigs need a lot of attention and unfortunately, you know, with children in school and when people work, it's hard to give your pig the time and attention that it needs. So we took this pig home with us and because I had just had a new baby, we put her outside. Her name was Suki and I loved her. When we were outside, we let her out and she would play by us and root by us and followed us all around. And so we loved her. Um, then we decided to move back home and we, um, I kind of talked my husband into letting me breed potbelly pigs which was a wonderful decision. I'm really grateful to him for letting me do that. Also, his family has really supported us and helped us. Um, so now we have two females and we have one male. Um, we like music, we're music lovers too, so we name our pigs after musicians or people in the music industry. Um, we have Loretta Lynn, we have Priscilla Presley, and we have Axel Rose. So we love our pigs. We've just had our litter. Um, they're two weeks old, and it's been such a privilege to have them in my home and getting to watch them grow. And so um, I hope that now you know a little bit more about me, 
and I'll continue to do videos in the future so that you can get to know my family as well and put some tips on here and um, other things that might be helpful to you. So thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.